darling, I know it's hard. It's video voice. <laughs> <laughs> In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, the Lord be with you. On behalf of Madeline and Nathan, I would like to welcome you all in this special day in their life as they ask God to bless their love for one another. Now may I invite their parents to please come forward and to light these candles, the family candles symbolizing the Nathan and modeling come from these two families. People might say, in our generation, you're too young for that, to get married. In other words, they're somehow saying that love is neither old, neither too young. But that is wrong. Because love does not require an age limit. Love that Madeline and Nathan have for one another 
Maybe it started with that emotional love. But that love continued to be a decision-making aspect of love. They came here today is not just because they admire one another or they have these feelings for one another. But they came here together today because they have decided that they have, they're going to live for the rest of their life together in the sacrament of marriage. And can you give a piece of advice? We might start with which one? The one I find difficult to pronounce the last name? Shibras. We'll go to Ajuparde afterwards. You never keep secret from each other. It's beautiful. Any secret? Any secret that you want to share with the rest of us? <laughs> <laughs> I would like you to think of three qualities. Why you want to marry one another? Three qualities. We might start ladies first, after the boys. Okay, we give a chance first to Madeline to be the last one. Think of three qualities why you want to marry Madeline. Three qualities. Uh, personality. Personality. The eyes. The eyes. And her hunting skills. <laughs> Is that what she did when she was hunting you? <laughs> so be careful because she might know how to use the, the long distance rifle, okay? Um, I... It doesn't have qualities. <laughs> I, I like how headstrong he is. How old was that? Headstrong he is. Headstrong? Except not with me, don't headstrong with me. Um, I like his personality and his smile and I like his Hey here. Sorry dad, you cannot cut his hair. I was about to tell that one, cut his hair. Sorry Madeline, he knows that I'll be asking that question. For, sorry for putting in the spot. I told him that. Are you prepared as you follow the path of marriage to love and honor each other for as long as you both shall live? I am. I am. Since it is your intention to enter the covenant of holy matrimony, join your right hands and declare your concern before God and His Church. I, Nathan, take you, Madeline, to be my wife. I promise to be faithful to you in good times and in bad, in sickness and in health, to love you and to honour you all the days of my life. I, Madeline, take you, Nathan, to be my husband. I promise to be faithful to you in good times and in bad, in sickness and in health, and to love and honour you all the days of my life. May the Lord, in His kindness, strengthen the consent you have declared before the Church and graciously bring to fulfilment with His blessings within you. What God joins together, let no one put asunder. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. Now we will have the blessing and exchange of rings. May the Lord bless these rings, which you will give to each other as a sign of love and fidelity. Father, Son, the Holy Spirit. Amen. Madeline, receive this ring as a sign of my love and fidelity in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Nathan, receive this ring as a sign of my love and fidelity. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. My brothers and sisters in Christ, we have the newly married couple. 
May I present them to you? I may ask the groom, Nathan, to kiss your bride. Now, in the beginning of the ceremony, we invited both of their parents to light these family candles. Now that they are united as one, we invite both of you to please come forward and to light this unity candle, symbolizing of your oneness in the eyes of God. My dear friends, let us pray to our Father in heaven that He will keep Madeline and Nathan united in undivided love and that He will bless them throughout their married life. And our response be, Lord, hear our prayers. Lord, hear our prayers. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the Jewful so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples saying, Take this all of you and eat of it, for this is my body which will be given up for you. Blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we be married to be co heirs to eternal life, and we praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through Him and with Him and in Him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. May I invite Nathan and Madeline to bow your heads for the nuptial blessing. O God, who by our mighty power created all things out of nothing, and when you had set in place the beginnings of the universe, for man and woman in your own image, making the woman an inseparable helpmate to the man, that they might no longer be two, but one flesh, and told that you were pleased to make one must never be divided. O God, who consecrated the bond of marriage, by so great a mystery that in the wedding covenant you foreshadow the sacraments of Christ and His Church. O God, by whom women is joined to a man, the companionship, companionship they had in the beginning is endowed with the one blessing, not forfeited by original sin, nor washed away by the flood. Look now with favor on these your servants, Madeline and Nathan, joined together in marriage, who ask to be strengthened by your blessing, Send down on them the grace of the Holy Spirit and pour your love into their hearts that they may remain faithful in the marriage covenant. May the grace of love and peace abide in your daughter Madeline and let her always follow the example of those holy women whose praises are sung among the scriptures. May her husband Nathan entrust his heart to her so that acknowledging her as his equal and his joint heir to the life of grace, May he show her due honor and cherish her always with the love that Christ has for his church. And now, Lord, we implore you, may these your servants hold fast to the faith and keep your commandments made one in the flesh. May they be blameless in all they do and with the strength that comes from the gospel. May they bear true witness to Christ before all. May they be blessed with children and prove themselves virtuous parents who live to see their children's children, and grant that, reaching at last together the fullness of years for which they hope, they may come to the life of the blessed in the kingdom of heaven, through Christ our Lord. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Peace be with you all.
My brothers and sisters, once again, we congratulate the newly married couple, newly married couple, Mr. and Mrs. Shebra. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Loxley on this magnificent occasion of the wedding of Madeline and Nathan. It's lovely to have you all here. Put your hands together for our first couple this evening. Please welcome Anthony and Tess. And next up, please put your hands together for Bill and Lillian. Boy called Joey, and he's bringing in Sarah and Tom. So how about a big round of applause for one of the very cute little flower girls called Lena and Zoe and Ned as a party. The other two flower girls, Deanna and Grace, and they're with Kate and Michael. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Jackie, Angela, and Tamara. Gentlemen, I want you to give your biggest, warmest round of applause to the newlyweds. Lovely to welcome into the room, Mr. and Mrs. Shiverus. I used to go to visit Ned every week or every second day to fix his car. I mean, every, got to go to Ned's dad, got to go to Ned's. And then one Christmas Eve at church, 
Nathan says, Dad, this is Ned, this is Bill and Lil, and in the background, it's Madeline. Tess and I look at each other and go, now we know why Ned's car's always broken. <laughs> we were told not to put our hands in the water as the turtles like to bite. Tom and Jackie were very close to the edge of the water watching the fish and turtles and I told all the kids not to put their hands in the water but a part of Madeline's hand was dangling in the water and all I heard was next was Madeline screaming and call out dad to me especially jumping into my arms. I was so happy that she needed me that day. <laughs> there is one other time she has asked for help when she asked me to pay for this week. <laughs> Jokes aside, Madeline, we are very proud of you, of the young woman you have become. We wish you both of you very best for whatever the future holds. Mad, you look great tonight. All the girls look great as well. How uh, you do? You boys too. <laughs> you look all right too. <laughs> you know what they say, you can polish your turd, but it's still a turd. <laughs> mucking up and never cleaning and I may give you your seat back. So let's all raise a glass to the new married couple. Madeline and Nathan, congratulations on your Leave marriage. my thoughts on Cheers. the table Set my keys by the door All these fortune and fate I don't think they need us no more In my head like a blitzkrieg on my heart like a wall Coming back to your heart now Cause this one ain't mine anymore Were you away by yourself Dressed like an angel in white on the way Can you be like a troll from a song that I've known all along Can you take the, take the island Just pulling apart the waves As I fall into your arms Tearing up roses As daylight approaches Just hoping to be what you want Hold me up with you, baby Like some pillow guy on this road that you wander Burning like sun by the rock Let me fight through your honor Raise a wall for your truth 